Are you guys having a hard time coping with lockdown anxiety? Well, let me give you ideas on how to cope with lockdown anxiety or how I stay sane during this pandemic. Welcome back to another video. So, how is everyone? I hope everyone's doing okay. I guess it has been more or less two months since we were asked to stay at home due to this pandemic. Are you guys having a hard time coping with lockdown anxiety? Well, let me give you ideas on how to cope with it, or how I try to stay sane through this pandemic. But before we begin, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to get updates on new content. So, how do I cope with lockdown anxiety? First, I try to plan my day or my week ahead of time so that I will have guidelines on what to do because sometimes if you don't have like a set schedule, you tend to get really lazy and you just like lie down in bed and just, you know, do nothing. So I guess it helps to really plan your day ahead or your week. It depends on you. Yeah, I guess planning my day or planning my week helps in staying sane so that I have like a guideline on how I go about my day or my week. It's easier for me so that I know that I have to do this, I have to do that. So I'm not going to be like scattered like thoughts in my head that... What can I do next? I mean, for me, I feel like planning is really helpful to keep yourself moving. Um, next is I make myself busy. Like, I do whatever I can do to make myself busy. Yeah, I feel like making myself busy or making yourself busy helps in coping with lockdown anxiety because you get your mind off of those thoughts that might go through your head or are going through your head so if you're busy you're not thinking about it you're trying to focus on what you're doing maybe if you're reading you're just focusing on the book if you're watching a movie or a series you're just focused on that you're giving your attention to it because when you're not like busy or you just you know if you're not doing anything then that's when those thoughts on or that's where the anxiety starts to sink in and when you're busy it doesn't so i guess it really helps if you're busy and uh, some examples on how i stay sane or how i make myself busy aside from working out and taking regular dance classes i watch movies series online or on netflix <laughs> I also write on my journal if I feel like I'm having these thoughts already in my head or I'm starting to think about so many things I try to write it in my journal just so like I have a place to just pour it out you can also like talk to your friends or your family members your parents if you start having these really negative thoughts in your head or you're you have too much on your head you can either write it in a journal or a piece of paper or you can talk to someone closely or someone you trust just to let it all out because once all of it is just inside your head and you keep it to yourself all of a sudden you're just gonna explode so it's better if you write it or just you know if you let it out it really helps you be at peace i've also learned how to um listen or appreciate listening to relaxing or meditating music and what you need for your mental state is to be at peace so i guess if you're listening to peaceful music or relaxing music then you'll feel like your body's just gonna relax and just let go of all those negativity or negative energy aside from listening to relaxing or calming music one of the things that really helped me cope with lockdown anxiety was by praying like i when i surrender 
all of those thoughts and all of those heavy feelings that I feel to the Lord, once I just surrender all of it to Him and pray and trust in Him, trust in His will, trust in His promises, and just completely trusting in Him, I feel reassured that whatever I'm feeling right now or whatever I'm going through right now, it will pass because He is there for us. He will always be there for us and He will never leave us. Even if we've hurt Him, He would still forgive, which is one of the reasons why I really feel that praying helped me to cope with lockdown anxiety. I just trust that whatever He's making me feel, I know that He is also the answer to it. If you just surrender yourself to Him and accept what He wants to teach you, then the anxiety that you feel will lessen and you'll understand that God is really the most powerful person. Yeah, so I just want to make myself clear that these are just some ideas on how to cope with lockdown anxiety. It doesn't necessarily mean that once you do this, your anxiety will go away or you're never going to have anxiety. I know um, having anxiety makes you want to isolate yourself or distance yourself from people or you just want to be alone. Yes, obviously you can do that. You're free to do that. But also you can talk to your friends, your closest friends, the people who you trust, your family, your parents. You can talk to them. You can share what you're feeling. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something or got a few ideas on how to cope with lockdown anxiety. And see you on my next video, guys. Bye. Ciao, ciao.